sometimes it's not simply enough to exercise your body. Sometimes it's not enough to simply exercise your mind. Mm. Smarty, smarty two shoes. <laughs> It's important to exercise your soul. Have you ever heard of the exorcist? <laughs> yeah, we're possessed by demons. <laughs> we're also possessed and in possession of so much. You know, our physical world, our social relationships, our social experiences, and the accumulation of the thoughts and ideas that huge energetic resources all wrapped up here just here in earth let alone somewhere else and so yeah mm. so you little star <laughs> you little star bright beautiful being and now whew, I know you want to cast the rainbow all out, all out into everything. So do I, right? Are you an artist? You know that you paint this world with your life, with your words, with your exuberance, with your expression, and even just with the thoughts that are percolating in your mind. You know, in your mind, they're coming right out here. Mm-hmm like little radio waves. It's not just a language, which is, you know, it's just a tool we made here. You know, technology. Yeah, come back. Come back and be, uh, be concerned with your starlight. Feel your starlight. because it was never given away to begin with. I mean, or it is, but you can simply be in it. Mm -hmm. And I find that if there is anything at all that you think you're doing, and if there's anything that you're resolving or feeling the need to do something about it, needing to do the next thing, I invite you to pay attention to all of the pieces that are being created in time, in space, right down here in our world, our, our tiny little world. It's so tight, you know, it's so tight. And you have the power already to create some of this space. By being in your power and accessing your own simple, efficient inner wisdom. Intuition, intuition is yours.